Whoa, do you know what month it is? Uh, yeah, it's October, so you want me to do spoopy videos? No, silly. It's October. You know what that means. <laughs> so anyway, I don't really know what that beginning bit was, but whatever. So it's October and I felt like actually doing something. But because I haven't uploaded videos and as you can see right now, I just use some scrap pieces of like wood that I found around to use as a base. And I'm just configuring them so that they look nice. Next, I just took some scrap pieces of foam that I had laying around, then cut it into form. Uh, I'm planning, oh, for the idea of this, I'm planning on making a little hill with uh, like some bar orc barricades, just some scrap laying around, just like a pile of trash. You know, the general orc uh, style, just putting a lot of uh, junk together. Um, just nice orc aesthetic, you know? Also really helpful when you're using just leftovers of other stuff. And it fits in all perfect. So the next step, I basically just used a tin foil ball to add some texture to the foam so it looks more like ground or it doesn't look just like normal foam. Looks like rock or ground, you know. Added details. And then I used some other scraps of uh, foam to make the hill more smoother and more even it out and spread it a little bit. In other news, for the whole Orktober thing, I was planning on doing like a video a week. I know, I know, I'm late. But I found out about the Orktober thing on Sunday of the first week of October, so... <sighs> and I'll probably not be able to upload another video this week, so I'll just skip the first week and maybe do an extra video at the end of the week. Who knows? For next... Uh, part I just used the tin foil ball again for the other part so that they look similar. Next, I grab some old toys and like little things that I can use to like add as trash. So use like the stuff that no one sees or you don't use anymore. And basically, I just rip this part apart and to like pieces that is suitable and usable. This part took a very long time chopping this little pe this big piece <laughs> uh, into more suitable pieces. Next, to make my life a lot more easier, I just grabbed some small pieces, some interesting looking pieces, just like trash, some Lego sets and other stuff, you know. After dry fitting and gluing all the other pieces down to somewhere it actually looks nice, I went on to actually making the barricades which I used old sprue pieces and this was easily the most fun uh, part of the build. And to clarify, I only used the sprue bits for like the the framing, the metal framing and used other straight bits like the leftover wood pieces and some leftover doors from other uh, kits and also some like random plastic that was like whatever and also like signs. Just anything you can imagine would be barricades and the orcs would probably use. Also, using hot glue between all these things make it like makes it look like really shitty welds, which is just perfect for that orc aesthetic, you know? Next, I covered the whole base with uh, glue, just wood glue, and then also put on some sand everywhere so it's obvious where the ground is, and to add some more texture. Because I'm dumb and forgot to record, I just base coated the ground with a brown and then put some base coats of metal on some of the on just everything. And I used like a copper color so that there would be a difference in color in some metals and wouldn't just be one color. And what you see me doing right now is just using a tan to dry brush over the ground so that so there's more definition. And it doesn't matter if it's too bright now because I'm just going to put a wash over it and it'll darken down a little bit and look a little bit more grimy. Also remember to put the wash over the metallics and everything and then going back and doing a, a re-highlight and dry, more, a dry brush on the metallics so that there's more definition and they look different. 
Next, if you think the ground is too dark, then you can just go and dry brush the ground again with the tan. Next, you can add some more orky details and just in general details like a white and black chicken pattern or put some red tips on bombs and stuff. And that's basically it. To be honest, there aren't any really obvious orc details other than like the checkered pattern. But you know, you can just add more obvious orc stuff if you want. Or less. See you later.